Greg starts off this hour in Missouri. Hey, Greg, welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey, Dave. Thanks so much for taking the call. It's a super honor to talk to you. You too, sir. What's up? Hey, thanks. I am calling. I've got four kids, and uh, kid number four is a freshman in college, and we have modeled, you know, uh, avoiding debt and you know, all those things. And she's done very, very well, but and she's doing the uh, community college thing right now, so she's got a free two years of college. And then one of the local nursing schools here in Kansas City, if you'll agree to work for them for three years and possibly changing to two years, um, you go to nursing school for free. So she is set up for going to college completely free. However, she went to a really small little Christian school, lots of friends, and she doesn't have as many friends now in the, the community college environment. And there's not tons of kids at church um, because, you know, most of them are off at college. And so she's definitely suffering from, uh, you know, just being lonely and wanting friends and things like that. So she has got it in her head that she can go to Columbia, to Mizzou, to Mizzou do, go to their uh, junior college and take one class at uh, the university and and then, you know, do the dorm thing and all that, it, but by going to one class and then uh, do the junior college thing. But it's still going to cost more than 9000 bucks a year. And so if she did it for the next three semesters, it's, you know, a minimum fifteen eighteen thousand dollars $18,000. Trying to convince her it's not a good idea. And um, I'm kind of hoping to maybe uh, – that you could help uh, give me something to challenge her about this evening to <laughs> try to maybe put this out of her head. And I understand completely why she wants to do it, but um, trying to find some wisdom on how to convince her it's not a good idea. Mm. And where's the money coming from? Well, that's it. She, she, you know, she, she wants to borrow the money, and you know, and we're like, well, you know, she knows how we feel about it. But the other thing is, is um, she said, well, Dad, I'm going to get a job. I'm going to start at $48,000. I'll be able to pay that off. Yeah. And, and I'm like, Lily, and we're just going round and round and, and just trying to, mm-hmm. to do it in a, you know, in a godly way and to, you know, not to beat her up and not to, you know, I just want to win her heart and get her to understand that yeah. that's just not the way to do it. Yeah. If it was my daughter, I guess I would just tell her I was really sad that she felt like she had to spend $15,000 of borrowed money to get a friend. Well, that's a good thought, too, actually. That's sad. It's sad, yeah, it's it sad is, that her social that, life has degraded that far, that that she's willing to spend $15,000 for some friends. Yeah, well, I understand the whole dorm environment. I know why she wants to do it, but I just yeah, don't. But, I mean, we're, this has nothing it. to do with education. Yeah, exactly. is, you, you want to spend $15,000 exactly. to go to college camp. That's it. You're right. It's like you want to go to summer camp to get a friend, and you want to spend fifteen grand to do it. And honey, I got to tell you, as your dad, I love you, and I just think that's stupid. I just, I, yeah, I just really, exactly. I mean, I, I, I affirm why you want to do it. I understand that you want social connections. I get all of that, but that that method of solving your social issue, I mean, you can for fifteen thousand dollars, you you can rent an apartment and just drive up there and hang out. Yeah. She's gone on the weekends to visit some friends, and we're like, let's just keep doing that for the next three semesters. And, yeah, uh, yeah. And, and honey, I got to tell you, you, you've grown up in a house where we don't borrow money, and there's some other stuff we don't do in this house. Um, you know, and as for me and my house, th- this is how we behave, and you know that. That's not new to you, and um, this is not something that we're going to endorse, and the reason we're not going to endorse it is the same reason we don't endorse you doing drugs, the same reason we don't endorse you sleeping around all over the place is it's not good for you. It's good, Dave, yeah. Because I love you, and um, I, I'm, I'm, you know, my kids, when they went to school, it was like, guys, the way you get to go to college free is I'm paying for it. And since <laughs> I'm paying for it, uh, it's Dave's rules. And Dave's rules are, well, you know, we're not sleeping around, we don't do drugs, uh, we're going to church. And uh, we're we're walking a righteous, clean life. We're gonna have fun. I want you to have fun. I want you to have friends. I want you to have all that. We're not we're not sticks in the mud or anything like that. Ramsey's like to party. We're hillbillies, but but <laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna get ourselves in trouble. We're not gonna be out getting you know ending up in the dadgum jail drunk or something. I mean, we're just not gonna do this stuff. It's not how we behave. And by not doing that, that is your job. And I'm gonna pay you 
for that job, meaning you get to go to school free. I'm paying for it. And you cease to do that, I'm going to cease to write these checks. And I'm going to cease to support yeah. you emotionally. I'm going to cease to support you spiritually. You're, you know, because I'm doing, and I'm doing all of that for you. I get nothing out of this. Exactly. Except the well, satisfaction of being about. a dad. But I mean, I get nothing out of this otherwise. Yeah. So I, I think you just got to sit down and talk about this is what is good for you. And what are we really solving for here? What's the real issue? And the way, she's probably not got it in her head the way you're describing it. And if she ever saw it that way, she'd realize how kind of silly it is. And I'm spending $15,000 yeah. for friends. That, yeah, that's really it. And it's not going to be worth it down the road when she's still paying on it 10 years from now. It's not going to be worth it ever. There's well, yeah, never exactly. a situation in your life where you spend $15,000 for friends. Yeah, at no stage of life, in no place, would you do that, ever. At any age, yeah, that's right. You know, there's not not when you're 82, not when you're 22, not when you're 37 with two kids. There's not a time when you spend fifteen thousand dollars, and especially going into debt for it, to have friends, right. to have a social life. That's a false dichotomy. It's a false set of logic. And once you once you get it laid out there, and you go, honey. I, I get it, okay? You're, you're empathizing with her, but we're not going to sympathize with her. Uh, we're not going to join her in her delusionary decision-making here. <laughs> right. But 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 I can, you know, I get you're being a, you know, you got a soft heart as a dad. You're, you understand your daughter wants to have connectivity, and, you know, and you guys are probably in a small town or a smaller area there, and a lot of her buddies went off. But, I mean, I had one that said, hey, all my buddies are going to Mississippi, and I said, that's great. <laughs> you're not well it's it's fourteen thousand dollars more a year to go to mississippi from tennessee than it is to go to tennessee they're both southeastern conference yeah. schools neither one of them are playing much football so i mean it's just it's it's they're both good educations right and so we had this discussion i'm like so you know who's going to pay the other fourteen thousand not me and if you think you're going to go into debt and borrow it, then that means you're not going to get any of the other money because I'm not going to participate in your crazy because your crazy is going to bring pain to your future life. Your decision-making skills are wrong. You don't go to a college chasing a boy. You don't go to a college chasing a friend. You don't go to a college because your buddies in high school are going there. You go to a college to get an education, not to have the college experience. The college experience is a byproduct of being on the campus. But you don't pay $15,000 for friends. It's a good discussion. Thanks for calling in.